so I've done a couple things since the last video. The one thing I did was I went ahead and added an eighth string or a ninth string to my loom just so that I could keep it consistent with what's here. So I'm going to show you how I started to make this one and I wanted to make sure I had the same number of beads. The other thing I did was what's in the very second video we did. I tied my weft to my warp. If you don't remember how to do that, go back to the very second video that we did together. And the other thing I did is I put my needle on the end of that weft string. So again, if you don't remember how to do any of that, there are videos for all of it. And the first step of this is we have to get these strings really close together. We need them closer together than this. We need them one bead apart. And right now they're too far apart. So I'm gonna do four rows of just regular weaving. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm pulling it nice and tight each time. So again, this is just the same weaving that we did in our practice. Up, down, up, down. Try to get that pulled through. Pull it. If this string is getting in the way, I'd like to flip it up, stick it through one of those notches. There we go. All right, so there's that. Now I'm gonna go under this one, over, under, over, under, alternating and make sure that you are pulling it tight. So I'm gonna pull, pull, pull my yarn, and I'm gonna pull it kinda of tight. See how close together these strings are? We want all of them a lot closer together. So I'm gonna go back and do this one. Over, under, over, under. Pull kinda of tight, so they're starting to get a little closer together. It's starting to close up on us. I'm going to do about four rows of this. We might see if we need extra. Oops, skipped one. Okay, we'll try. So let's see. So we'll see. Let's try two more rows and see if we can get these strings just a little bit closer together. They're starting to close up. Let's do two more rows. So I'm going to do six rows of regular weaving. Okay, it's starting to get pretty tight. Scoot that all together. What happened there? Okay. And then I'm going to go under, over, under, over. Okay. Hold tight. Okay. So once I have my regular weaving on the ends here, now I'm going to start putting my beads on my string. So I'm going to look first and I'm going to start on the white side because that's what's over here. So this first row has four white beads, red, orange, yellow, green. So on my needle, I'm gonna put four white beads. One, two, three, four, let them go. Red, push down, orange, yellow, green. So there is my first row of beads right there. Push it down, push it down, push it down, let it go. All right, so once it gets to the yarn, I'm actually gonna ignore the beads for just a second and I'm gonna weave one regular row. So I'm gonna go over this string, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, try to get between those two. I'm gonna figure out which one's which. All right, pull it, pull it, pull it. And when I pull it, it's pulling my beads through, which is what I want. However, I want to make sure that I have one bead in each space. So I got to push one bead back. This green one should be at the end here. So we got to push them to where they're supposed to be. So the green one's supposed to be in the last spot. The yellow one should be in this spot. Orange one should be in that spot. Red one's got a big spot. Hopefully we can close that up a little bit. There we go. So now that green one's trying to escape. Pretty much they're all in the correct place. They move around a lot when it's the first row. After a couple rows, they should start to stay in their spots. Okay. So let's see if we can get that to stay by doing another row. So I'm gonna move that up. So now the string is coming out of that side, which means that my beading needs to start with what's on that side. So that means the next row starts with yellow, then goes orange, red, and then my white ones. So it's one yellow, orange, red, oops, I dropped it. 
yellow, orange, red, push them down, and then five white ones. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, push them down, push them down, push them down. Okay, there they are. So now I'm just gonna do regular weaving, which means I need to be under this string. Over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. Okay, grab my needle, pull. My beads are coming through, but I need to make sure I'm putting them all in the right place. That green one's up there, there we go. So then you can see how now it's a lot easier because they're starting to get to where they need to go. This one needs to be one row over. That one, there we go, that one. Okay, that one was a lot easier. There's that one, pull it nice and tight. Okay, now the string is coming out of that side, so I'm gonna load it from the white side. We're three rows down, so that's six white beads, a red and an orange. One, two, three, four, five, six. My needle's too full, push them down. Red, orange, there we go. Push the whole thing down, push the whole thing down. There we go. And I'm gonna go over this one, under, over, under, over. Pull the whole thing. Go. And then see if you can get those beads in their correct spaces. So the orange one should be at the end. Red one next. White one. White one. There we go. Uh oh. I think I skipped a row. I think I skipped a row down here. Oh no, I didn't. There we go. Okay. There we go. Pull it nice and tight. So you can see now how that pattern's starting to come together. So there you go. 